yesterday that President Trump was be briefed as early as March of 2019 that Russia had ordered or offered uh, bounties to the Taliban for the killing of U.S. soldiers. Uh, you called his inaction on this issue a betrayal. So broadly, what consequences do you think the president should face for that betrayal? And specifically, what do you think Congress should do? Well, look, uh, first of all, Congress and the intelligence committees on the Congress, both parties should demand the facts. This seems to be a, a, a moving story. As I was leaving, I had the television on, as I put on my shirt. And uh, I understand there's even some more information that's come out today about what was known. One of two things. This president is, um, he talks about cognitive capability. He doesn't seem to be cognitively aware of what's going on. He either reads and or gets briefed on important issues and he forgets it, or he doesn't think it's necessary that he need to know it. But the fact is that at a minimum, at a minimum, the discrepancy allegedly between within the, the intelligence community as reported, some thought it was more certain and others thought it was less certain, that should be resolved. The president should have on day one said, I want you to come before me in the, in the situation room and lay out the differences and discretion. What, who, who, is, who, is, who is saying what? Let's get to the bottom of this, number one. Number two, it's clear to me that, and I don't know whether he did, he should have immediately contacted our, our, our Joint Chiefs of Staff, gotten them all in one room and sat and said, okay, what are we doing to prevent this? What are we doing to prepare to deal with this if this is happening? How are we doing this? What are we doing? Thirdly, he should, at a minimum, have picked up the phone and said, Vladimir, old buddy, if any of this is true, and it doesn't cease immediately, you've got a big problem, a big problem, and make it clear. Get to the bottom of this. It appears as though, from what I have, and I don't have access to classified information anymore, but if what I have heard over the last week and the recent reporting that it was in the PDB, the Presidential Daily Brief. The Presidential Daily Brief is something I read every single day as Vice President. The President read it every day. I was briefed every morning before I got to the White House and then again. So the idea that somehow he didn't know or isn't being briefed, it is a dereliction of duty if that's the case. And if he was briefed and nothing was done about this, that's a dereliction of duty. 